Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today i um, taking out my four vlogs. I've had them in for about um, seven, about seven weeks and I'm taking them off and I wanted to um, just, I'm very happy with the growth I've got. Um, if you can see, this is the amount of growth I've got with having the braids in for only seven weeks so that's a lot of growth my hair flourishes with the braids um and it may not be that is the my shower cup regular shower cups are too small for me but um yeah so this is the amount of growth i just measured it Unfortunately, I'm home alone and I do not have my tripod. My husband is using my tripod for his research thesis experiment. So he has it and I'm home alone. And I just measured like the new growth. I tried to measure it with one hand, about an inch and a half, which I guess is a lot of hair because a lot of the natural hair gurus talk about half an inch a month. And I've never really tracked, I've never ever tracked the progress of my hair. But I think for any human being, if you can get half an inch a month, that's six inches a year. If you can retain all that length, that's a good amount of length for the year. So getting an inch and a half in seven weeks is, I'm quite happy with the progress. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, so you can see the dirt here because I've had it for seven weeks. So this is the amount of growth I've got and it's very thick. Um, I wish I had my camera. This is my phone. My he's using it for his experiments. Today they had to record some stuff and he took it to school and he's not back. And I'm, I want to take on my braids so I decided to record this. But my hair has always grown most in this area. Look at how much. This is the dirt. So this is the point of attachment from the braid. And this is how much it has grown. Um, my hair has always grown most in these areas. And then slower, slower over here. But even here, it's still a good amount. Um, and the back of my hair also grows pretty quickly, but it breaks off pretty easily. So even though it grows, I do not get as much length in the back as I do in this area. This area of my hair, before the hair just I cut it off, was legit longer than my um, 24 inch curl formers. When I used to put my curl formers in this part of my hair, my hair would come, it would be below the, the curl formers. So the crown of my head was about 24 inches plus with of course a lot of damaged ends, but it was really long. It still is the longest part of my hair. I cannot see so I cannot tell where the dirt is. I know where is dirty is the point of attachment and this is the amount of growth I have. I hope I'm doing it well. So yeah, it's pretty late so I'll take out my braids and as you know I have with locks you have to do twists underneath so I have twists underneath conditioning or something it's friday night if you watch my installation or my talk through after you know that i was worried about um making them too short and possibly burning my hair so this is the moment of truth i'm about to find out if i really did burn off part of my hair and i'll come back i can't hold it in <laughs> i cannot hold my phone and unravel my hair so i'm going to have to turn the camera off and then i'll be back when i'm done to show you everything, okay? Alright, bye!